We continue to preview the 2024 college football season. Our stop today is Crete, Nebraska, and it is a privilege to get to visit with the new head football coach for the Doan Tigers, Coach Jonathan Johnson. Coach, named as the new head coach back in January, been there for a few months now. I know that uh, things are, are probably starting to smooth out just a little bit since the initial uh, coming into Crete. Talk a little bit about that, and congratulations on, on the new opportunity. Well, Joey, thank you so much. Uh, it's very exciting. We're we're very excited to be here. Obviously, it's been like drinking through a fire hose for the first four months here, catching up and recruiting, uh, getting a late start. But things are really taking off well. We had a great spring, and uh, we're excited to be here looking forward to the future. The program that you were at most recently, a, a Division three program, which, by the way, I mean, you, you've had uh, coaching opportunities at, at all levels, NC. AA, NAIA, the junior college level as well. But you had a program that you helped to just get underway and get started. And you're coming now to a program that is fourth on the list in active NAI programs, winning this program. And so it's been around for a while there and don't talk about the difference between the two. Yeah, obviously a huge difference. Uh, starting a program is something that is extremely difficult. Uh, this was my first start of a program. And so it was interesting to be on the ground level of everything from finding a practice field to cutting the grass, painting it, building sheds, putting washers in, buying uniforms the first time, uh, figuring out locker room space, schedules, all those things uh, really helped prepare me for this opportunity. Um, I have worked throughout my career as a position coach into a coordinator, into a head coach role now. And uh, I think that job really prepared me for what this was going to be and what I needed to do on my end to be ready for that. And so uh, it's exciting. I'll tell you, the history here at Doan uh, is one that we're very proud of that we want to build on. Um, that's why we're here is the the responsibility to get it back to where it has been uh, to raise those numbers and put us back on that national stage. And so we're proud of the history and we're going to keep building on it. The weather across the Midwest, even last night, and and we're recording this on a Monday, uh, it's, it's it's been interesting and, and challenging at, at, at best, I'm sure. Has the weather cooperated with you, and were you able to get all the spring practices in? We were. The guys uh, did a great job. The weather cooperated. We had some cold days there early on, uh, but for the most part, we worked around it and got everything in. And new offense, new defensive system, very proud of the way the guys have adapted um, by the end there, we were really competing well and had a great spring game with the stands full and RVs in the parking lot and families here in attendance. So uh, it was an exciting venture for me. It's cool to be around that. That's the way I grew up with football uh, in a town where it's important. And in Crete, Nebraska, there's nothing bigger than Doan football. And so we're excited about the future here with all the alumni and all the folks that are part of what we're doing. That's really encouraging. I mean, that, that's nice to hear, and I'm sure just stepping in and, and getting this opportunity. We're visiting, by the way, with Jonathan Johnson, who is the new head football coach for the Doan Tigers. Coach, we, looking at the roster last year, I wanted to start talking about the offense just a little bit in, in previewing. This is, of course, prior to fall camps, but looking at it from the spring with the spring in the rearview mirror now, the roster last year had a number of quarterbacks freshmen and sophomores listed by their names on every single one of them. I know you're going to be looking at uh, somebody new in that position this year. Can you take us through the offense a bit? Yeah, absolutely. You know, quarterback, obviously, we talk all the time about there are teams that have quarterbacks and then there are just teams. Um, so you got to have a quarterback. That trigger man is very important. Um, we've had a couple of guys that returned that, that went through the spring for us, Tyrese Wilson, Zach Fredenberg, uh, both transfers, competed really well this spring. Um, learning. They've got a grasp of the system now. We're also bringing in a couple of freshmen that we're really excited about um, and working on a transfer as we speak. So we're going to have a lot of competition in that room. Um, you know, fall camp is going to be a big deciding factor for who's behind center at that first game against Graceland. Uh, but we're excited about some of our other positions, our tight end position specifically, uh, Carson Reimers, um, Nate Fox, two seniors coming back. Uh, who have been great leaders for us on and off the field. We're excited about them. Uh, receivers, Darnell Riley, uh, Oglesby, uh, John DeRizzo, uh, Wado. We've got some guys who've got some really good skill, and we, we feel pretty good about our depth on the outside at receiver. And so we're excited about that. And then bringing in a transfer running back at mid-year, James Miles III. Um, we're really excited about James's future for us as well. So a lot of good things going on on that offensive side of the ball, our offensive line. Uh, has some older guys, David Garcia, J.B. Neal, who are returning, Blake Bieber, um, all guys coming back who have some experience on the field. 
Um, and we've got a good group of guys coming in also with them. So we're looking forward to what that offensive unit is going to do this year. I know you can't say enough about having an offensive line with experience. It just it's it's such a big deal. We look on the defensive side of the ball. Jarrett Boggs, one of your linebackers, uh, one of the leaders in tackles last season, and a couple of strong players in the secondary coming back, and in, in Cooper Hancock and in Brendan Knapp. Um, tell us a little bit about the defense. Yeah, the defense here uh, was the backbone of this team last year. I think they gave them a lot of opportunities and on film from what I can see to be in a lot of games. And and Boggs, I can't say enough about Jared Boggs. Uh, he is one of our captains, one of our leaders. Um, he is comes to work every day in and out in the weight room on the field. Um, he is a guy who just he, he doesn't say a whole lot, but he lets his play uh, work for itself. And he does a great job for us on and off field. We're excited about him. He looked great this spring. Uh, had a healthy spring. We're looking forward to his future. Cooper Hancock really stepped up in our secondary. Uh, he is a guy who can play multiple positions, uh, whether it be free safety or strong safety or whatever it is. He he gives a real good grasp of the defense. Has helped some of the younger guys. We're excited about him as well. As uh, Cade Wiseman's coming back for us at corner. He was he was injured last season. Um, he'll be a senior this year, and Cade is going to be a guy who's been a a really good player here in the past. We're excited about what he can do at corner. Uh, Ja Fuller will be a senior at corner as well. Uh, And then Brendan returning. uh, Brendan will be a senior also. So we've got some good leadership, some guys coming back that we're excited about. Uh, We have a freshman Mike linebacker, Lucas Christensen, that's going to be an outstanding player for us. Uh, Lucas is a a leader on and off the field as well, and we're looking forward to what he's going to do in that role also. Had Kellen Meyer on special teams last year, kicker and punter uh, prior to your arrival, but uh, there for Doan, a kicker and a punter. He was perfect in point-after opportunities. There weren't as many as I'm sure you'd like to have this year, uh, opportunities to get that point-after, and had a 56-yard field goal as well. One of the big things I think it stands out for uh, for him that I look at averaged 41 yards per punt. So being able to to flip a field like that has to be big. It is. You know, it's nice as a head coach coming in not to have to worry about a special teams unit. Uh, when you've got a kicker and a punter like Kellen, uh, Kellen is a great kid from Ward, Nebraska, right here, uh, went to UNL and then transferred over here. Uh, we're excited about him in every facet of the kicking game. Like you said, his extra points, his field goals, uh, his punts, his kickoffs. He's got a very strong leg. Kid loves the weight room. If you look at him, he doesn't look like a kicker. Uh, and uh, we're excited about what he's going to do. I think he's got another great season in front of him. Is that, is that like the best compliment you can give to a kicker or someone who doesn't look like one, loves the weight room? I tell you what, it, it, I thought he was a linebacker when I walked in. I said, who's that the first time? They said, that's our kicker. And, oh, my God, he's a big boy. So <laughs> it's uh, it's good. He's strong. He can do what he needs to do. Well, the season gets underway at the very end of August, which is getting closer all the time. And I, I know you're probably just very excited about this opportunity. Out of conference game, and you have your first three games at home, so I think that uh, is something in your favor. Out of conference game against Graceland, you mentioned that at the outset on Saturday, August the 31st, and then you have Briar Cliff coming to town and Waldorf, new member of the conference, coming in in the next two weeks. Yeah, we're very excited about having the opportunity to open up here at home uh, to build some comfort around what we're doing. Um, now, Graceland, I have a very, very uh, a lot of respect for them and what they've done there. And I know Coach is going into year three or year four there, uh, but he has done an outstanding job building that roster, and they're getting better every year and seeing them on tape and then recruiting. Uh, we know we're going to have a challenge in front of us week one. Um, we're, we're excited to open up here at home and then getting into that conference schedule. You know, the GPAC is tough. The GPAC is to me, the SEC of NAI. We've got three teams from the playoffs that were out of our conference last year. We're going to play them three weeks in a row this season. Um, so we've got a tough layout. We don't have any gimmies, no easy weeks for us. Every week is a battle in GPAC and uh, we're excited for all those games going forward. And we just want to focus on getting better every day. You know, I keep telling the guys, don't pull out a schedule, don't circle a schedule, don't look at that. It's about Doan versus Doan daily. And are we getting better? And when we get better, the winning takes care of itself. So we want to focus on ourselves throughout this fall camp and improving daily. And then we'll let the results be what they're going to be based on the work that we put in. Well, Coach, I, I'm encouraged just uh, listening to you talk now. I, it, it looks like it's going to be a great thing in Creek coming up this year and in seasons beyond. Coach Jonathan Johnson, the new head football coach for the Doan Tigers, Coach, thanks so much for taking time with us today. We really will be following you this season. We look forward to an opportunity to visit again. Thank you. I really appreciate you having me on and uh, look forward to talking again soon as well.